Hello everybody, it's Amel, and today I'm going to teach you how to solve the robot return to origin problem. There is a robot starting at position 00, the origin, on a 2D plane. Given a sequence of its moves, judge if this robot ends up at 00 after it completes its moves. The move sequence is represented by a string, and the character moves of I represents its i's move. Valid moves are R, right, L, left, U, up, and D, down. If the robot returns to the origin after it finishes all of its moves, return true, otherwise return false. Note, the way that the robot is facing is irrelevant. R will always make the robot move to the right ones, L will always make it move left, etc. Also, assume that the magnitude of the robot's movement is the same for each move. So here they give you an example. The input is this sequence of moves represented as a string, UD up, down. So the method returns true. Why? Because the robot moves up and then it moves back down. And it starts at position 0, 0, so it ends at position 0, 0. As you can see, the robot moves up once and then down once. All moves have the same magnitude, so it ended up at the origin where it started. Therefore, we return true. Example 2. The robot starts at position 0, 0, and it moves left, and then it moves left again. So we return false because the robot does not end up at position 00. As you can see, the robot moves left twice. It ends up to move to the left of the origin. We return false because it is not at the origin at the end of its moves. So how can we solve this problem? Well, we can use a few variables to track the position of the robot every iteration. So we can iterate through the, through the moves and then we apply every move to the variables and then by the end of the iteration we can check if the robot is at position 0, 0. If that's true, we return true, otherwise we return false. So without further ado, I'm going to show you how to write the code. First, I need integer horizontal and this variable is initialized to 0 and vertical gets a value of 0. So as you can see, the robot starts at position 0, 0. So these two variables will keep track of the position of the robot every time. Then I need to go through the moves. I need to iterate through the moves. So for, for char move in moves that to char array. So every move is a character. So I convert the string to an array of characters so I can iterate through it and I can apply every move to the robot. So I need to check each move. So I will say switch move case u for up break case d for down break case l left break and case r for right break so if the if the move is u that means that the robot goes up so going up is equivalent to decrementing the vertical position by one so minus minus vertical if the robot goes down that is equivalent to incrementing the vertical position by one so plus plus vertical if the robot goes to the left that means that the horizontal position decrements by 1. So minus minus horizontal. And if the robot goes right, then that means that the horizontal position increments by 1. So plus plus horizontal. Then, by the end of the iteration, I, if the position horizontal and vertical, if both of them are 0, then that means that the robot ended up at the initial position. So I'll return true return horizontal equals equals zero and vertical equals equals zero. I'm gonna run the code. It seems to working fine when I submit the solution. All right, this is working perfectly. Four milliseconds faster than 98.63% of submissions for robot return to origin. The time complexity is big O of n, where n is the length of the string. If you like this video, please press the like button, don't forget to subscribe, and see you next time!